bitches Okay, so hello everybody, this is Tanishin and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. Okay, so I know I haven't been on and I will play The Sims to the Let's Play in like a while. It's because I've been trying to get all my work done for school so that I don't have to take summer classes. Okay, so um, a while back I created a challenge called the Bloodline Challenge. And some people were about uh, slightly confused about it, so I decided to make a video explaining more about what to do. Okay, so I've created my, well, I created her a while ago. I just recently just downloaded her. Um, and so basically, you can choose any town you want. If you choose Newcrest, there's like additional um, goals you have to complete for each generation in order to complete the challenge. Um, but um, I'm going to choose this one because I haven't played here. So what you want to do is basically... Let's see. Real estate. Nope. Custom cheese. Oh, wait. Crap. Free real estate. Okay. So, can I not? Okay, it's already preoccupied. We're just gonna. Uh, we'll be here for now. Okay. So basically, you actually just. I started a new game, which I probably shouldn't have done, which I normally don't do, but for the sake of, of what's we call it? Okay, so just let's go. Okay. So basically, you want to I'm going to move these people. I don't, uh, yeah, what was it about? Okay. Give uh, it. Okay. So, so basically, you want to move whatever town you choose. You basically want to choose the biggest lot you can. Oops. You want to. Phone, phone, okay, there it is. Move house out. You want the biggest lot you can because this is going to be your castle. And this is your ruler, so they have to have a nice big lot to build their nice castle. It doesn't have to look like a castle, but I'm calling it a castle because she's a ruler. And those lot remaining funds. But for those lot, for the sake of, you normally don't use cheats unless you know you want to. I'll spin it later, but. I only use free real estate because I started a new game and I didn't mean to. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, starter homes. Sometimes I build my starter homes, sometimes I just 
download them. Oh, what? Okay. Oh wow, look. Pretty cheap too. I normally start with like one of my starter homes and then like um build onto this. So this is like my most popular one. Wait, I need a computer for that. We'll do culinary. For now, since I don't really have. sound on? Probably not, but I'll turn it on. Where, where did he go? Did he just leave? Well, there's somebody else. Okay, so, okay, so I had, I, had, I don't know if this challenge seems too hard or not, but for the first generation I had grow a cow plant, have two bloodlines, one by birth and the other by adoption, max two skills, and reach level two in a career. Okay, 
See, but each generation, I have it so that it's like, um, you have till, like, you, um, the each generation last, so the time you have is amount until the child becomes an eligible heir, and the child becomes an heir when the previous heir has given birth or adopted their child. So for her, she, well, she, right now she's trying to find somebody to, she can have her child with. And in this time, she can take the time to grow a cow plant. You can like fish for one of those. Um, she can max out two skills, get level two in a career, and, you know, all that before, and, like, even after that, when she has her child, she still has the amount of time before her other child, or before her child, gives birth or adopts. So, she'll have two children, so... Basically, she has the amount of time until both of her children become adults and have their own children. Girl, chase after him. What's wrong with you? Don't let him get away. Oh, God, what is wrong with you? Why are you still sitting there? Go after him. I think that's what kind of confused people was the, um, that first part. And, like, it seems a bit confusing, but in reality, it's really not. And the I have, like, three difficulties. So, if you, like, you need, if you're, like, work slower than others, you need more time, then you can set it to her lifespan to long. If you work it, like, on a normal pace, you can medium, set it at, like, normal. And if you work very fast-paced and, you know... You want to try a hard challenge, you can set the lifespan short. So basically, the ruler, she wants to live for 10 generations, and she can't die. Basically, no matter how hard they try, she just won't die. So, you want her to, basically, the day before her birthday, you want her to take a health potion so that you know she can continue to live only her only the ruler the person you start out with is allowed to take a health potion everybody else just must die off they you can either starve them drown them electrocute them have them die of natural causes you can use some cheats to you know kill them off to make it easier or if you don't want to kill them you can simply just move them out and let them die of old age. That's the only thing they can't do. Is they can't die of old age because they must, once they have the kids of their own, they must leave the house. And they just, quote unquote, disappear. And she's left to raise their children. And, you know, raise them to, you know, continue on the bloodline. But they won't ever become the heir because she wants to live forever and rule over everybody forever she wants to be the ultimate ruler okay so it's basically it Yeah, but like each one. So basically, each generation, you're just like, you're making the errors disappear. You're maxing out a total of like two skills per generation. Because I feel like two skills is a decent amount for the amount of time you're given. And you're reaching like about two levels each career for each generation. And then once you leave, to once you max out a career you get max to a career at, so that's around generation five 
at six, you know, you want to, you know, start a new career and reach level two and go up by two each time. And then by the time you get to ten, you are maxed to win the challenge. You have to max all skills and reach level ten in two careers. And if you choose Newcrest, there's like additional um, goals that must be completed because she wants, so basically there's no kingdom for her to run. Oops, okay, let's keep her there. So she wants to basically build her kingdom that she has to rule. So in Newcrest, you have to build certain th buildings each generation. Okay, so point and then the scoring you get five points for every skill completed and you get a hundred points for every aspiration completed 20 points for every career and 50 points for every collection but aspirations and collections are optional you can do them for more points if you really want to but they're not required um, penalties minus 50 points if your ruler dies and basically, the challenge is basically over. You lose the challenge at that point if your ruler dies because she's supposed to live for 10 generations. And if she just dies, you know, it's bad. I didn't do a penalty for if she ages up. I'll add that later. But basically, so I guess I'll do like minus 30 for every time she ages up or he, your ruler, ages up. Minus 10 if the power goes off. Minus 20 if the water gets turned off. So there's just like basic logistics and whatnot. So everything is that's pretty much it. Um. So, so yeah. I um. Basically, okay, so that's it. So that was all for the introduction video. I will probably do another video where I'm actually doing the gameplay and whatnot. So but this was just the introduction video. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is Tay Nation signing off.